Where is God? Some other religions teach God is everywhere. This is actually called pantheism, and it is the opposite of our belief system in Islam. Allah tells us clearly there is nothing, anywhere in the universe like him similar to his likeness, nor is he ever in his creation. He tells us in the Quran he created the universe in six yawm, periods of time, and then he astawa Allah al-Ash, rose up, above his throne. He is there, above his throne, and will remain there until the end times. Allah has such complete knowledge as to be able to know all things past, present and future in all places at exactly the same time. The same can be said for his absolute hearing and seeing. In this way, his knowledge, his hearing, his sight is everywhere simultaneously. In this regard, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us he is as close to us as our jugular vein. He also explained Allah is with us when we are in sincere worship to him and in times of need. Naturally, this would not compromise his existence outside of his creation. The Quran offers us a more detailed understanding of where, and who, Allah is. Certainly your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six yam, days or periods of time, and then he istawa, rose above, the throne. He brings the night as a cover over the day rapidly, and the sun, the moon, the stars, subject to his command. Surely, his is the creation and the commandment. Blessed be Allah, the Lord of the universe. Noble Quran 754 Indeed, your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six yam, days or periods of time, and then he istawa, rose above, the throne, disposing the affair of everything. No intercessor, can plead with him, except by his permission. This is Allah, your Lord, so worship him. Won't you then remember? Noble Quran 10-3 It is Allah who erected the heavens without pillars that you can see, then he istawa, rose above, the throne and made subject the sun and the moon, each running its course for a specified term. He arranges each matter, he details the signs that you may, of the meeting with your Lord, be certain. Noble Quran 13-2 Who created the heavens and the earth in six yam, days or periods of time, and then he istawa, rose above, the throne. The most beneficent. Ask him, as he is Al-Kabir, the all-knower of everything. Noble Quran 25-59 Who created the heavens and the earth in six yam, days or periods of time, and then he istawa, rose above, the throne. You, mankind, have none, besides him, as a wali, protector or helper etc., or an intercessor. Won't you then remember, accepting admonishment? Noble Quran 32-4 And indeed we, Allah uses the word we in the royal sense like the king who says, we decree the following, this is not in the plural, created the heavens and the earth and everything in between in six days and fatigue never touched us, again, this is the royal as not plural. Noble Quran 5038 He is the one who created the heavens and the earth in six yam, days or periods of time, and then he istawa, rose above, the throne. He knows what goes into the earth and what comes forth from it, what descends from the heaven and what ascends up to it. And he is with you, by his knowledge, wheresoever you may be. And Allah is the all-seer of what you do. Noble Quran 57-4 We observe from these statements a very logical approach to understanding the nature of God without comparing him to creation or putting him in his creation.